Good evening, and welcome to another eFilms travel vlog. I'm Clay behind the camera. This is my wife, Allie, and this is my niece, Abby. Some of the older generation gets them confused. It's a bit awkward, but that's okay. Tonight, we will be imitating the Antiques Roadshow, or as the kids these days, what do they call it? Unboxing. Halls? Or a hall, <laughs> yeah. Unboxing. So we're gonna be looking at some newer things that adults as well have been unboxing and some older things from the 1980s, the 1990s. Let's begin. <laughs> Depending on when you're watching this, Christmas just happened. What did you get for Christmas? I don't know, but what I got are tiny things. Who doesn't want a bunch of tiny things? See? Tiny things. For all you old folks out there, these are called mini brands. But what do they do? Well, that's just it. They don't do anything. Nothing at all, in fact. Yep, no purpose. Other than to look at. Mm -hmm. See, here we have some gold items. These are the rare ones. These are costing about $25 on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, or $40 if you don't look hard enough. And if you're interested in purchasing them, just let me know in the comments below. Well, you can't purchase the ketchup, but you can purchase the mustard, which <laughs> is the one that's costing the most money. Yeah. We also have a non-gold mustard. And the fun things about these are that on them, they have actual nutritional facts and websites you can go to that take you to the actual company websites, like French's. Parents are like, we have the real thing at home. And it costs <laughs> less than this. And yeah. French's was like, yes. <laughs> Although I don't even think, who makes French's? French people? General Mills? <laughs> French's. French's. Hmm. The more you know. But there are lots of other things as well. Yeah. Want to know what the nutritional value of bacon is? I don't know. Can't read it. Did you forget how to read? Uh, it's just really tiny. Do you want to see? Oh, so it's useless. I thought we already established that. <laughs> yeah. It's also fun because it comes with a little shopping cart. The food doesn't fit in it, mm -mm. but it's cute. Yeah. Also not functional. No. Well, the, the, the wheels do roll. Only on hard surfaces, though. Not really on anything so. Naturally. Yeah. <laughs> I also got a tiny backpack for Christmas. <laughs> wow. But what does it do? It holds tiny school supplies. Oh. Inside each mini backpack, you get six collectible prizes. You can get Erasers, stickers, a pencil, a notebook, a folder, an envelope, colored pencil, sticky tape, which uh, isn't, uh, that just tape. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, a ruler and a candy highlighter. So exciting. Do you eat <laughs> the candy? No, that's what I'm confused about. Hmm. We'll see. Let's open it. <laughs> My tiny backpack is pink and holographic. Are you on like a commercial? <laughs> this is the Antique Road Show. <laughs> no, that's more like Nickelodeon. Oh, well I do watch a lot of that. Uh oh. Oh no, there it is. I'm sorry, I'm having troubles. Inside, inside the tiny pocket mm. <laughs> are tiny pieces of paper. Wow. Oh, wow. Mine's a heart with eyes. Oh, I don't know if you saw that. I, I did. Oh, I mean. And how does that make you feel? <laughs> it's lots of fun. Yeah. It makes you feel lots of fun? Lots of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Next I have a pencil that's the same size as the one I used when I was in school because I like sharpening the pencil. <laughs> the eraser really works though. These are actual school supplies that you can use, unlike the food. Yeah, so it's a little more useful than the food. If you're small. Yeah. yeah. The next item I got are tiny colored pencils. They didn't match sizes, but still yeah. fun. 
But what does it do? They actually color. Oh, yeah. okay. Yep. The next item I have here is a, a ruler. Mm -hmm. It measures in centimeters. I know what that does. Oh. <laughs> measures. It measures. And the last <laughs> item I got is a candy highlighter mm. that actually highlights. That's, that's good. I wasn't sure what to do with my tiny backpack, <laughs> but then I had a great idea, and that was to hang it on my Christmas tree. Really? <laughs> I am using the highlighter though, like in real life, and the pencil. The last tiny item we have that was from this Christmas is something that comes in a box that says it's the world's smallest. Mm -hmm. Now, they have lots of different things you can get. They have miniature Hot Wheels, miniature Toss Across, uh, Rock'em Sock'em Robots, all kinds of fun things. Yeah. But Clay got this for Christmas, actually. And he got a Beyblade. A regular and I know size. what it does. <laughs> the fun thing about this is that it's not tiny at all. Mm. It's the actual size of a Beyblade. So. Here, turn the light off. Wow! Is that real fire? Flames. Uh, no, it does not actually spin, though. No. So, if you're expecting that, just... Sorry. Weird. It's almost like it's the size of a real Beyblade. <laughs> Next, we've delved deep into Clay's parents' house and found some items that are familiar to our childhood. <laughs> the 1990s. Era. Yeah, your childhood, not yeah. mine. Not Remember hers. that time <laughs> when you went collecting these things? Supposedly Thinking, the princess dye bear is worth a lot of money. I haven't found that, but. I don't think anyone's actually like bought Looking it. Looking for them? No. Someone yeah, just posted not. it on eBay for a lot of money. Much like yeah. a lot of things. Yeah, like the golden mustard. <laughs> Yeah, the gold mustard, same yeah. thing. So that's fun. This one is um, the Valentine's Bay or Valentina. <laughs> was it like 97? The birthday was 98, nice try. <laughs> What's this one? Oh, this one is not. Tag fell off. That's okay. This one is Aaron. Also 1997. Born in March, in March, so it's the March Bear. Yeah. This one's patriotic. This one does have a protector on it. Yeah, which is apparently worth more. Even when it's <laughs> sunbathed. Sunbathed. Bleach. Sun bleached. Bathed. Sun bathed. <laughs> it's not 1920. I have a non-linear editing system. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Exactly. Now today when we were looking through the stuff we could show you, we came across this toy. Now if you're from the same age as Clay and I, you know who this is. But Abby pulled it out Weird, of the box. awkward looking dude in his underwear. Yep. Yeah. Abby That's pulled it out of the box and she goes, who is this? <laughs> and that was when my stomach hit the floor. <laughs> Because you're old. Yep. <laughs> this is Doug, in case you're wondering. Well, actually, it's Quail Man. Doug in Quail Man form. He's like the guy that you shield away from your kids. <laughs> and oh, then his great. lovable pal, Pork Chop. Lures him into a, a van. Oh, no. <laughs> so, we're old. Wow. Cartoons used to be edgy. <laughs> Underwear on the outside of your clothes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got a lot of chafing for it. Had to get antibiotic cream. <laughs> That's cute. They renamed him Chafe Man. Good one. In mm -hmm. the second season. That's funny. Huh? It's funny. You're so funny. funny. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Next up, we have um, a very well known villain The Hun. Yeah. To defeat the Hun with his flying. Don't bird. really care for it, but I understand what it does, and I, I'm all for yep. that. Yep. Fine. 
He doesn't actually fly. It just looks like he does. Jimmy. Mm. Here we have an old country bear from the McDonald's series <laughs> toys. <laughs> These came out when the movie came out. I think it was like early 2000s. I don't remember. This is a toy that Clay likes to do magic tricks with. Mm -hmm. See the yellow cord. <laughs> I'm going to make the yellow cord disappear and it'll turn red. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Wow. Our younger <laughs> nieces were not impressed. In fact, they said, um, that's not a trick, Clay. Here we've got an old Pez dispenser, Mickey Mouse. Classic. Is there candy in it? I don't know, do you want a piece? I would not put actual candy in that anymore. <laughs> let's, let's, is there something growing in it? Not that I'm aware of. No. Um, doesn't um, smell like anything, so that's good. Okay. Oh. Do you want it? No. <laughs> you can keep it over there. Here's a great toy. Mm. A can of peanuts. Always a classic. Fun. I love mixed playing with nuts. mixed nuts. Yeah, mixed nuts. Fancy mixed nuts. Yeah. What's gonna happen? Oh. <gasps> okay. Yeah, not very good. Yeah, this uh, is a this, very uh, It's been old, taped multiple yeah, times. It's very crunchy. Just like real nuts. And what was the thought process like? Does that really look like a snake? Uh, people? I mean, I a mean, screen printed looks... plastic bag? <laughs> with a spring inside? <laughs> yeah. I I, that so. wouldn't even pass as a banana. The TNT. Mm. The bad boy. The bad boys, though. They got wiggly legs. They're a little top heavy, but you know what? Well, yeah, they've you been know. drinking pizza in a drinking pizza <laughs> in a sewer. <laughs> None of them stand up well because one of their feet oh. Aha. is like crooked. Yeah, it's like mid motion, which is not good. Anyway, this one's doing some thing work here. Probably some Fortnite dance. <laughs> if you mention Fortnite, you automatically get flagged. Do you really? No. Actually? Oh. I was like, what? <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, you're, you're marketing to children. Abby brought this out earlier and thought it was Santa Claus. <laughs> I don't blame her. It does look like Santa head. Like why why is the rest of him black and yellow, but the, his head's red and white? If you guys like know a, what this is from, let us know. Yeah. Kinda looks like a Sega Genesis game. Look at that dumper. You're disgusting. <laughs> Speaking of dumpers, next we have Winnie the Pooh. Oh, <laughs> that's a cake topper. That's what I tried to tell your dad. Yeah, I don't think he really understood. We've got a fun keychain. Is that I think New that's... York? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, yes. Yep. Yes, it is. Hmm. I wonder if it's actually from New York. I think it is. Oh. Got a sticker on the bottom? Probably the price tag. Yeah. And that was probably the trip. I took to New York before 9-11. Wow. This, this little thing is my personal favorite. Um, I pulled this out of the box first and noticed that he does not have a nose anymore. Um, and he's missing part of his little mane. Um, but I love him because of that. So. What is great. it? Uh, that's a good question. I'm pretty sure it's a zebra. Or a zebra, depending on where in the world you're living. Yeah, or just a striped horse. That is also possible. What does it do? Um, it's, I mean, nothing. Uh, oh. <laughs> so it's like a doll. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty heavy, so I would assume to say it was probably a game piece. Um, or... Let's get a close-up. Or just like a little statue. This is from Star Wars Episode One. It's a little container. <laughs> Maybe a piggy bank. I don't know. Yeah. Some sure. people in their weddings use like pillows to, to carry the rings on. Transport yeah. the rings. Right. We used this. Yep. It's fun because it, it it changes the picture. Mm-hmm. 
So there you have young Anakin. But that doesn't really justify why we use that for <laughs> our wedding. <laughs> no. Um, and so then it has him in his older form as well. Mm -hmm. Not. I'm confused how they knew. We would use this for a wedding? No. No. Uh -huh. They were like... It's a piggy bank. How they knew he would be dark. Yeah. Like, I understand, I understand that the later episodes came out first, but like, he yeah, didn't that, have to foreshadow that much. That's true. Uh, yeah. And we're gonna do one more. One more. Did anyone really pay attention during those movies? <laughs> I know I didn't. One, two, and three. I mean, by the third one, you're like, all right, it's happening. <laughs> this is my favorite. He's a cute little, I don't know. He's from a so Canadian like... Wonder Ball. I don't know if they call it Wonder Ball or something else. Hmm. But it's fun because he like goes up, you know? Yeah, he does like tricks. Mm -hmm. And the wheels turn and he's just cute. And he's yeah. Canadian. It's an automatic win. He has a little hat. Yep. And a foot. Oh, well, yeah, you kind of need that to ride a scooter. Here's the bottom. <laughs> These are actually old. Like, old, old. Um, so this is Mickey Mouse. How old? <laughs> old. <laughs> what does it say? It, this is Clay's dad's first toy, it says. Wow. Oh, it's labeled. It says yeah. RL First Toy. So I'm assuming that's your dad. It's Mickey Mouse, but his paints wore off. <gasps> A ring. <laughs> I didn't know he was holding flower in the back. Yeah. Um, and it's got words here that say like Walt Disney World, Walt Disney okay. Productions. Not not Walt Disney World. <laughs> no, Walt Disney <laughs> Productions. Before Walt Disney World. <laughs> So that's really cool. Yeah. I bet it's worth a lot of money. Maybe if it was still colored. Yeah. Well, mm. But then we have these two, which I would assume are from their wedding um, or just somebody's wedding. But uh, they're, uh, they're... We got uh, any input from the audience? Yeah, what are these? <laughs> So we got a little ring here, um, but he's holding it in quite an interesting spot. So it kind of looks funny. <laughs> I wonder if that was intentional. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> um, but the best part is... Why does he only have one nipple? <laughs> I would oh. assume to say he probably lost his color, but honestly, I don't know. I don't think that's appropriate for YouTube. <laughs> Neither is the best part. Yeah, the best part is they both <laughs> they both have little butts. <laughs> they both have little butts. <laughs> I think it's great. I expect nothing less from an antique. <laughs> yep. I think they're amazing. It's better than some antiques I find like the really racist ones. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's true. Yikes. Yeah. Okay. Well. So that's all I have for you. Yeah. Clay, do you have anything to add? I'm just happy to be here. It is your YouTube <laughs> channel, so. Yeah. <laughs> if you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up. It helps more people see our videos and gets us out there. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow us at eFilms Travel on Facebook and Instagram. And thanks for watching. Oh, I wanted to do a ghost video. <laughs> oh, you came to the wrong video. <laughs> you, you can analyze the footage later to find the ghosts. I just like editing words. And like, yeah. <gasps> Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Okay, see ya.